Hello friends, this is Ganesh and video number 6 on enhancements. So this is a continuation of the previous video and in this video I am going to explain the classic BADI implementation. So if you take BADI it has two uh, types or versions I can say classic and kernel BADIs. So classic is the older version and kernel is the new version. So from SAP NetViewer 7.0 onwards you will have a kernel on your system. And before that you have the classic body. So that is the major difference and yep, yeah, uh, kernel is faster obviously. If there is anything advanced come for the existing one definitely it has its own priorities and it should work better than the previous one. So another main difference is uh, kernel baddies are faster than the classical. You might aware or heard about something that maybe some migration is also happening from the classical to kernel bodies and you might face some issues in the upgrade version of your system maybe CRM or VCC whatever it is and your classical bodies are not able to call might be you might faced on that. It's happening everywhere it's happening so how we are moving from SAP script to smart forms and Adobe it's the same way uh, you have the own versions of classic and uh, kernel bodies and today I'm going to explain about classic body implementation in this video. Okay, let's get into the slide. So the classic body it's going to call with the help of CL exit handler. These are some just a reference for you. And uh, your kernel body is going to call using call body statement or git body statement. And uh, SAP NetViewer 7 onwards kernel body is on place. And uh, technically, we don't have an enhancement spot for classic body. You might noticed in my previous video, I showed the screen difference between classic and kernel body. Actually, uh, I forgot to mention in that one, that particular uh, place. So today I, I will show you. And you're not able to find any enhancement spot for classic body. Okay, so that is one of the um, difference you might noticed if you are working on classic body. And uh, yeah, there are three types or available in the classic body SAP internal and multiple and filter. It's available in kernel as well, but it has some more additional uh, options and enhanced of the previous options also limited fil limited filter use and AMDP um, baddies are available in kernel baddies. So uh, SAP internal is nothing but uh, they designed the enhancement place uh, especially for or only for SAP. Okay, only for the product company can able to use this particular implementation that is not open for custom. So that is the reason I just keep the uh, same color for my enhancements also. So this is a SAP product and they provide a place like classic body but they decided this is going to be used only by the SAP in future so we are not able to use that one that is nothing but SAP internal so forget about it it's not going to use for any of your business scenarios multiple so here there are two uh, things are available if it is selected we consider this body as capable of multiple implementation if this option is not selected then this body is of applicable only for single implementation okay so two uh, variations are available in one single option all these three are check boxes it's not option it's a check box so multiple selections also you can select SAP internal and multiple or you can select multiple and filter depends on the SAP these are not in our hands these are decided by uh, SAP because this is you know, I'm talking about the definition of your body it's not implementation it's a definition of your body that can be done from SAP level so multiple is nothing but uh, you can if it is not multiple if it is not selected you can have a body and you can have your own implementation there is a color difference so this is SAP provided the definition and we added our own custom code and you can have a number of implementation but technically only one is in active state okay other two or other implementation for the same body should be inactive state otherwise you will get an actually an error kind of information is saying that there is already one implementation is in active mode kind of okay so you have to make sure which implementation to be active based on your requirement okay so at a time only one implementation should be active if the body definition this multiple 
is not selected consider that is a single implementation body you can have only one implementation at the active so you can have a number of implementations but only one to be in active state i will show you that as well filter okay uh, if it is multiple okay one second then you can have more than one implementation means active implementation like this so you can have one definition sap uh, definition and you can have n number of implementers can be active so all these three is going to be called depends on your call okay it's going to all the three going to be called that's it filter so filter is suppose filter can be along with multiple options selected or not selected so if it is a body with multiple implementation or a body with single implementation implementation whatever it is filter body means before going to call either of this you have a filter condition okay so that is also defined from sap level what type of type in the sense normally filter uh, body is depends on the data element for which field you need a filter it's a material type or a order type or a country uh, region whatever it is okay so mostly kind of like types and all only mostly it goes to the filter so if that particular filter value is satisfied then only it go and call your body otherwise no so this is one step before your body implementation so the filter value is going to be in the header level i can say once that particular condition satisfies then is going to call your corresponding body implementation so that is nothing but filter body we call it as so these are options of any any of the body it can be a classical or kernel you will get all these three options kernel you will get one more additional okay so hope you have an idea about what is classic body and uh, how we are going to do the implementation and everything i'm going to show you every, i think I, I didn't find anything on sap internal probably i'll find in my uh, next uh, videos then i will show you it's simple if you try to implement it will show this is for the internal purpose you're not able to implement anything from your end that is a message you will show i try to uh, show you that message as well and today i'm going to show you a body with single implementation multiple implementation and filter condition as well okay um okay i have some more thing for you yeah um classic body implementation steps so the code which i am going to write or we are going to write inside a place whatever it is if there is a place we call it as editor so there is a page where we are going to write something so code is going to be same same select same loop everything depends on your business need we are going to write it but depends on the enhancement which we are going to do which we have chosen already based on that the place is going to differ so if you go with user exit it's a subroutine if you go with customer exit it's a function module and inside a function module you have a include program okay same way if you choose body it is a method so the hierarchy is you have a interface standard interface and under that interface you have to create a custom class and interface has a methods so it's not like just an empty it's an interface as a method we are going to create a class for the interface as you know as you aware interface is a empty design so we need a class for that interface to implement anything on the interface methods okay it's a basic idea of object oriented about interface and class okay so for that interface you have to create a class and automatically all the methods which is designed for the interface it comes to an appear in the class you can then do the implementation okay so in body the place where we are going to write down code is methods inside a method we are going to do it compared to customer exit customer exit has import export tables changing options right parameters so if it is because it is a function model it has its own parameters importing exporting changing and tables same way method also has its own parameters so uh, how we analyze in customer exit what is coming in what is going out of this customer exit same way we have to analyze in the methods as well what is the method parameters what are all the methods are available first okay that is a place like what are the function exits are available how we are uh, finding it there are a lot of function exit we need to identify which function exit is triggered for our scenario 
same way which method is going to trigger for our business need and what are the import and export parameters of this method whether it's a table or a variable or whatever it is we need to identify the same thing we are going to do probably in a different transaction that is everything in se 37 here everything is in se 24 that's it remaining all the steps are same and code is what you're going to write is also same okay and then uh, so this is going to be standard this is going to be custom and automatically this is custom automatically methods also you are uh, coming under your custom class only and then yeah this one i have already mentioned so which method to use for your requirement and what are the method parameters are available so as usual keep a breakpoint run a transaction and find out how it works and that's it okay um i will take you to the system now excuse me this is my system and uh, before getting into that actual work i'll show you a few things it's not necessary every transaction has a baddie because or uh, customer exit or a user exit because the product company has to decide how they are designing the transaction and which transaction has classic body, which transaction uh, needs a kernel body, which one needs only user exit, which needs a screen exit or menu exit. Okay, so I, the, the idea is don't expect every transaction or every screen has all type of enhancements from SAP, actually no. Okay. So here I'm going to show you a few things like go to enhancement and baddies actually depends on the version also they might decreased or absolute the few uh, older classic baddies currently is maybe in a new one kernel baddies and if you see I'm searching something on some business applications so this is sometimes all sometimes this is also a little tricky like go to sd and uh, so from here i'm going to sales and here sales order so from the uh, technical perspective so i'm going to search from through this application component a baddie and uh, it may be for anything so the answer is no objects matched the selection criteria okay and Another one is um, if I go to MM GL management uh, purchasing and here purchase order. Okay. You have few baddies, and if you say classic baddies, you don't have anything. Okay, so this particular business scenario doesn't have a classic baddie. And if you see all, just press F8, you can see enhancement spot because every baddie has its own enhancement spot. Actually, the one enhancement has four, all the four baddies. The one enhancement spot has all the four baddies. Obviously, the kernel baddies. And uh, if you see some classic baddie, you can you can search this way also uh, it's like instead of all you can say select sd star classic body you have few okay so here you are not able to see the any the enhancement spot column so if you double click it will take you to the uh, screen here also it shows a definition name directly not the enhancement spot so technically enhancement spot is not applicable for classic body okay so this is just uh, just for your reference so i want to uh, convey this to you and what else i need yeah nothing much so now we go to the classical body implementation so i'm going to choose a classic body for mm star maybe i'm not aware of the industry uh, so what do you call the hierarchy so I can go with MM star and press F8. I choose choose to classic body. So in this, I have already gone through the body which I'm going to show today. So the body which I'm going to show is purchase requisition for um, body, classic body. So this is the one ME process rec 
this is for processing and uh, uh, enjoy purchase requisition customer level so just double click so this is a classical battery because it doesn't have an and spot and it's look like the older screen it has sap internal multiple use and filter dependent so this is not a sap internal so i'm good to go and this is not a multiple use so this paddy can have only one implementation at a time okay active implementation i can say and this is not a filter dependent as well so there's a definition from sap and if you want to see what are the implementation already if someone able to done so you have to go the option like implementation overview so currently there are no implementation for this definition so mostly you can done everything in uh, se84 itself if you want you can go ahead with the se18 excuse me or se19 as well so let me show you here also from here you are able to create the implementation okay let me create the implementation from se84 the next one i'll go with se18 so here implementation create and i'm going to create implementation like zgi so pr implementation one some specific name depends on your uh, requirement or the customer navigation whatever it is i have created it it take me to se19 i am in se19 uh, just for your reference but everything is happening in se84 itself uh, implementation short text implementation one okay and save it saving in a local object so it's good to go now go to the technical little technical area interface so the standard interface for this baddie is this one if x me process request almost same like your baddie name close to your baddie name so here you can see uh, me process request here it's if x if is normally the standard naming convention for interface and your baddie name okay and this class is is the name of the implementing class is this one if you want you can change as well you can change the implementation class as well this is also uh it's just take at dip from your implementation name okay so this is actually my implementation name right and this zcl is the standard name for a custom class and this is might be its implementation okay that's it and what i can do is these are the interfaces and method this is going to it's it's going to be created or it's already created one second double click yes it's got created and whenever i just create implementation it got created as well okay it's in uh, inactive state okay and if you go to the interface you have to go to the interface if you are new to the uh, body i'm not good with object oriented please run through these very basic steps go to the interface and see how the interface is uh, built and what are the methods that are available and go through the description of the methods you come to know some ideas okay while opening a purchase requisition this method is going to trigger and this method is for header data this is for item data this is for account assign assignment data this is for post so like that you just come to know and the very basic difference between interface and classes interface doesn't have a implementation you don't have a place to write a code even if you double click the method just double click it's not going to anywhere it should open an editor right to write the code it won't because it doesn't have a implementation and very important thing is you have to go through the parameters of each method suppose i'm going to implement process item so i want to know what are the parameter what are all the parameters of this method just click parameters you just come to know these are the parameters and you have to know how what direction it's coming so importing it's all coming inside so unfortunately in this method i'm not able to pass anything to the standard flow i'm not able to pass anything to the purchase requisition process so everything is comes inside there is no written parameter in this method okay so this way you have to understand the interface and methods first okay so once that you done then walk through the class which got created while creating an implementation and here they mention very clearly interface and tilt operator and then the method name because the source of this method is in interface only okay now if you double click it will open an editor for you empty editor you can write your own code and you have to decide so may problem mostly we'll have a breakpoint and run the purchase requisition transaction we'll see how it stops what are the inputs is coming in what are the parameter values are uh, getting triggered everything we can able to uh, understand once you have the breakpoint 
So now what I'm going to do is let me have let me start implementing it. I'll just go with the process item, just double click, and inside just have a breakpoint. Okay, so it's done. Go back. This is also done, activated. Okay, and just go back. Finally, I am going to implement my active, sorry, implement, uh, activate my implementation. It just activate, so it's active now. Okay, and here you are able to see implementation will be called. Suppose if implementation is inactive, it shows very clearly implementation will not be called. So make sure active and check this runtime behavior of your uh, implementation. So now, if I run my expectation, if I run uh, the PR create transaction, this implementation method to be triggered. The breakpoint should stop. Let me go to ME51N to create a purchase requisition. And standard and material would be 5, quantity 1, as a plant is 9001, enter. Okay, so it's getting triggered. So process item is getting triggered. So here you have to see what is coming in, what is going out. Okay, so locally, this is actually a reference. Okay, I, I'll show you that as well. Okay, if you either interface or implementing class, whatever it is, to go, go to the design, process item, parameters. So these are nothing but reference variable so it's not the actual variable it's not an internal table it's a object reference so inside this you will get some more informations are available so this is referred to another interface which has different methods lot of methods because sap designed an enhancement with most of the capabilities okay it's not for only for uh, saving the purchase requisition so they give lot of options available in the particular enhancement we have to make sure which is actually required for our need okay so here i figured out um, i want this data sorry this method to be called to read the data so what whatever is coming from the transaction me51n is going to be stored in this data so that's what i figured out okay it's like same thing like a breakpoint keep a breakpoint and find out where the exact data is filled everything so if you go to the debugging go back so this is the item let me close this this is uh, im item is a uh, reference variable and it has a value something over here just double click so here you'll find lot of informations are available over here okay a lot of parameters are available over here and the same thing you have to identify uh, what are the methods available in that particular interface? So get method is the place. So what I'm going to do is let me execute this. Okay, so go back. Go back. Process item. So here I'm going to do, I know the variable name, right? So this is the one signature here. I am item. So I am item. going to call the method which I have showed you as get data so get data is going to return some values if you want just double click it it will take you to the get data so here the reference is going to be the return parameter okay so what's the parameter here it's a returning so returning parameter name is re data something is going to return so what I'm going to do is if you that type of the return parameter is m-e-r-e-q item if you double click it will take you to the exact structure you can understand okay all the item informations are available in the structure so i need our area to refer this structure so here data w a item like this you can go with new syntax it's up to you i'm just going with the normal about uh, syntax and now I'm going to say, because it has a return parameter, this one. And a, a small thing is, at least you should understand interface class, how the methods are returning value, parameters of methods. 
uh, then bad is little easy for you okay so just go through uh, the very basic idea of object oriented then it will be very uh, easy for you okay let me act toward it active so every time every activation every change just make sure your runtime behavior is will be called or will not be called so now again i'm going to me 21n sorry me 51n Purchase requisition material five quantity ten storage location sorry plat excuse me while well, enter if you press enter this is getting triggered so now if you see wa item has all the details okay so now you can write a code whatever code you want you can write it okay so very simple code I'm going to do if uh, meng is greater than five I'm going to stop this process okay so the code as i mentioned it's same thing we're going to write nothing much difference same if condition same loop read depends on our need so here i'm saying if wa item meng is greater than five message custom validation Act toward it. Make sure runtime behavior of your method implementation. Yes. Good. So every time better you refresh your sorry your transaction if there is any change in your body. Material is five quantity is seventeen plant. Okay, so I think the breakpoint has moved or I didn't act toward it. So here, okay, breakpoint is coming after the message. That is the reason. So it shows very clearly custom validation. Okay, if it is more than uh, five. If you say one, enter. Now it's breakpoint triggers because after message, I kept the breakpoint. That is the reason. So now it no, it's not going to uh, show this message. So it will allow you to create a purchase request. I'm going to save this. So 96, end with 96, my PR got created. So this is the simple implementation for a classic body with a single implementation option. Okay. In the single implementation, you are able to create multiple. I'll show you. Uh, this is my body, right? I'll, I'm going to do this in AC19 now. Go to AC19. So I want to create, so I have to come this. So I have a classical body. What is the body name? Okay, create. Then it will ask. After this, everything is same like the previous one. What is the name of your body? So I'm going to do implementation two. Implementation two. It's allowing implementation two. Save. Still it's allowing and uh, the same thing after that same interface same method okay so i'm going to write a breakpoint last implementation i have some code here nothing just a breakpoint i'm activating it okay it's activated my methods okay so let's go to my implementation not the implementation i'm going to implementation i'm going to try to activate it so it shows very clearly there are already implementation active because this is not the multiple implementation. If you go to the definition of your body properties shows very clearly. So this is not multiple use. Okay. Now come back and what I'm going to do is let me go to my, this is for edit implementation. This is for create, this is for edit. So let me um deactivate my second implementation change sorry first implementation so what is the name i given i forgot one second requirements this is the one
change. So now let me deactivate it. Okay, user is currently editing. One second. Now I'm going to give inactive, save it. Now go to your implementation tool. Classic body, Z implementation tool, change it and act over it. Warning, that's fine. Okay, so now implementation 2 will be called and implementation 1 will not be called okay let's see if i go to me 51 and enter i 12 enter so now this is actually implementation 2 okay so here you can see the process items so and uh, this is only the breakpoint. So implementation two, implementation one is not called. So this is the way single implementation works. Okay, and uh, okay, and yeah, that's fine. Then next one is I'll show you the multiple implementation. So for that I am going to use for purchase request. Sorry, purchase order creation. That is eighty-four enhancements body definitions mm star classic it's going to be po cust this one so this body has multiple use so multiple implementation is possible if i go implementation overview you're able to see multiple implementation with the different colors the color with what is this yellow orange i'm not good with colors or active active implementation and the color the normal sap color is inactive implementation you can go ahead with that you can go and see as well so if you double click it will take me to that implementation it shows clearly this implementation the implementation will be called if i go to other implementation which is not in that color so implementation will not be called okay so this definition this body definition has multiple implementation go back so here it is overview you can have like this here also you have an option to create your implementation it's not only ac18 or 19 in ac84 itself everything else you are able to do it in the body let me create my own so zji implementation one enter so this is my implementation one, save it. And uh, even if it is your own system, please uh, don't, one second. I think I selected wrongly one minute. Yeah, so save it. Implementation will be migrated. Okay, it's fine. And Now, okay, continue. Now, act over it. I about to say something. Mm. So, even if it is a test system, don't keep an open breakpoint, whatever I did. This is just for a testing I did, but normally go with your username or any particular scenario. Otherwise, it's open, wide open breakpoint. It's start for everyone. Okay. Okay, uh, my implementation is done. If you go interface and I can go ahead with uh, header this time and I'm going with very simple, nothing much breakpoint because uh, whatever coding I'm going to write is not going to be uh, relevant for your own scenario and you, you are very well aware what to write inside the method. Okay, and it's my implementation one. I'm going to do implementation two creates ZJI implementation two interface because there's a multiple use will all record interface. okay here implementation two go to interface and header 
save it yes save it okay continue just click continue this box okay and have a breakpoint okay sorry i by mistake i think i implemented item as well so i want only header here okay i don't want any item fine okay and act to order so now if you see implementation one also saying implementation will be called and two also shows implementation will be called okay and if i go to implementation one implementation overview if i go to implementation one this is also showing it's call it will be called okay let's see me21n this is for purchase order creation go here purchase orders and get some existing purchase order execute drag and drop to your cart and it's getting stopped so this is get stopped and this is my implementation one executes and this is my implementation two so both implementation will trigger so normally it's not required to have both implementation at the same time and maybe it's needed after some time this is for your own scenario after some time you might come another scenario you maybe a different project needs a different uh, scenario to be implemented while creating a purchase order then we need yes we need to depends on the project your implementation also keep on increasing it will going to call all the implementations okay so this is about the multiple implementation there will be some interview questions as well which sequence your implementation is called i think very long back i question but i i couldn't remember what is the answer for that i'll try to figure out so this is about multiple implementation for a classic body and the final one is I say 84 filter filter I'm able to show you how to do it but uh, unfortunately I, I, I tried it but I couldn't find out the exact scenario standard scenario to show you the exact one so let me show few things like classic batting come on just execute it okay wide open call and the body is C E E C V right So one second, find yep. C E E C home slash. Okay, yeah, this one I have choose actually. Body eleven. Okay, that's fine. Body ten also. So here, if you see the filter dependent and the filter type also decided by SAP. These are definitions. Okay, we can just make use of it. So now I'm going to create an implementation for this and this is not a multiple use. So there's only single implementation is possible. So let me check whether any for already there is any implementation. So there is no implementation. So I'm going to create it. Just create an implementation. CGI filter. It's very simple one additional things that we are going to add so here you're able to see one additional uh, pop-up or the place where you add your filter values just add it excuse me and here add which country okay the data element is land one so i'm going to say example belgium okay so now what happens if this condition gets true then only your implementation will call go to the interface and you have only two things top of page and end of list so double click you will get a, a method to write your code so this executes only your filter gets true okay through the transaction so you don't worry about it so it will take care by the standard uh, the values which is coming from the standard transaction for this body for the land one it automatically triggers that one and that will just check whether your land one uh, the value has one second where it is oh 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 
I just went ahead implementation overview yeah whether the va value was belgium or not okay so this is a way whether you are able to have the filter body uh, it's an active okay and if you want to add some more values you can do it and go with some like australia save it and act over it so this is the first implementation so it's activated successfully but unfortunately i'm not sure which transaction is calling this particular uh classic body so that's why i'm saying i'm not able to show you uh, the actual scenario i will try probably in kernel body i might have very good filter bodies example so implementation is same in classic and kernel as well i hope this might be useful for you uh, so just play around about the classic body very simple just if you are good enough with interface class methods import parameters export parameters and filter body multiple use everything is good then kernel body is very simple and most of the versions current versions we are using most kernel bodies only than classical okay then classic and uh, let me know if you have any doubts on this thank you so much for your time see you in the next video bye